So now we need to know what kind of integration with CloudWatch events we get from code deploy because this will enable us to have a lot of automation. So there is this section in which we say that we can use CloudWatch events to detect and react to changes in the state of an instance or a deployment. And based on these rules, then we can invoke a Lambda function, send a message to Kinesis stream, SQS queues, built-in targets, or Amazon SNS topic. So let's have some look at the use cases because I think they're quite important from a DevOps perspective. For example, if we use CloudWatch events, we can use a Lambda function to pass a notification to a Slack channel whenever deployments fail. So how would we do this? Well, let's go into CloudWatch events. So I'll type in CloudWatch in here. Okay. Then we go on the left-hand side to CloudWatch events. And then I'm going to create a new role. And this role will look for an event pattern of code deploy. And for the time of events, I will look at state changes. And I will look at code deploy deployment state change. And the specific state will be failure for any application and any deployment groups. And what I want to do out of it, I want to invoke a Lambda function. And you need to create, obviously, that Lambda function that will pass on that information to Slack. But this is a way to build an event pattern for code deploy and have a look here and send this to a Lambda function. So this is how we would do this first use case. Or push data about deployments or instances to a Kinesis streams to support comprehensive real-time status monitoring. So how would we do this? Well, we go to CloudWatch, and instead of here, I will choose any detail type and any state. So let's go back um, here, any state, any detail type. Here we go. So this is our kind of um, uh, event pattern for code uh, for CloudWatch, sorry, events. And in here, the target would be a Kinesis stream. And we need to create a stream, but here, any state change that will happen in code deploy will be passed on to Kinesis stream. And here we could create a, a dashboard for real-time analysis of what's going on. Finally, use a CloudWatch alarm to automatically stop, terminate, or reboot, or recover an Amazon EC2 instances when a deployment fails or an event uh, that you specify occurs. So again, we would go here into CloudWatch uh, events and look at state change for our instance state change, maybe for a, a ready instance state, and then maybe here at the result, we want to have an EC2 reboot instance and we need to specify an instance ID. Just something random, right, that I'm just showing you, but this is how using CloudWatch events, we're able to recreate these kind of use cases that they describe here. So CloudWatch events is really, really powerful for code deploy. Next, we have logs, right? How do we view all the logs from code deploy into, for example, CloudWatch? Well, here, there is a blog on the AWS DevOps blog. As I said, this is a really good blog to read. And the way it works is very simple. You need to install the code deploy agent, which is done. And also, in the very bottom, you need to install the CloudWatch logs agent. And so by installing the CloudWatch log agent, you will get all the logs into CloudWatch logs. But so you need to remember there's no direct integration between uh, code deploy and CloudWatch logs. You would need to manually install or automatically install the CloudWatch log agent to send the logs into CloudWatch, okay? And finally, there is triggers and SNS event notifications. So let's have a look at code deploy and go to our deployment group and select this one and click on edit. I will scroll down and I will look at advanced optionals and here we have triggers. So we are able to set triggers for this deployment group and they're a little bit different from CloudWatch events, but very similar. So we create a trigger and I'll call it demo trigger. And the event could be deployment starts, succeeds, fails, stops, ready, rollback, instance starts, instance succeeds, instance fails, instance ready. So all these things that were actually in CloudWatch events. But from these, for example, the target you will have is an Amazon SNS topic. Then you would go ahead and click a trigger. And here we go. The trigger has been created. So this is very similar, yet a little bit different from CloudWatch events. So CloudWatch events are uh, external to code deploy, whereas code deploy triggers would directly integrate only with Amazon SNS, AWS SNS. But again, from a DevOps perspective, you don't need to remember the difference of triggers and CloudWatch events. All you need to remember is that there's a way to integrate code deploy through CloudWatch events with 
many, many different services such as Lambda, SNS, SQS, Kinesis. And through triggers, you can directly send messages to SNS directly from within code deploy. So that's it for this lecture. Again, think about all the possibilities that are opened by these kind of automations from the DevOps perspective, because this is what the exam will test you on. All right, that's it. I will see you in the next lecture.